Hello all, let us all learn how to make insulin infusion. So insulin infusion, we know, is very essential in an ICU. So let's just assume we have a baby who's uh, who's a preterm 28 weeker with weight of 1.1 kg, right? And has a sugar of around uh, 585, suppose and it's not coming down you have reduced the gir to minimum bare minimum gir of 4 mg per kg per minute but it's not coming down now you plan to start with insulin so how do you want to prepare insulin for this baby so let's see we know what regular insulin that we get has one ml has 40 international units right one ml has 40 international unit i want the concentration such that this one ml is equal becomes one unit one international unit so what i'll do this already has one ml plus 39 ml ns so i'll dilute this in 39 ml ns so it becomes 40 ml in total and this 40 ml ns has 40 international units of insulin right so that means it has 1 ml is equal to 1 international unit. So I have come to the dilution wherein I have made 1 ml is equal to 1 international unit of insulin. Now let's see the rate you want to start with. So the rate of starting insulin is 0 0.05 to 0.2 uh, international units per kg per hour we usually start with this dosing 0 0.05 international unit per kg per hour so now i will calculate the total insulin that is required in a day how will i do that like i want 0 0.05 international of uh, international units of insulin divided by the body weight of the baby that is 1.1 kg into this is per hour right this is per hour i am talking about the total insulin required in a day so it will be 24 hours all right so this will give me the total amount of insulin that the baby will be needing so it will come out to be after the multiplication of the rate into the weight into the total number of hours 1.32 international unit of insulin is to be given to the baby in the whole day all right if and by my concentration by my dilution i know 1 ml is equal to 1 international unit so if i have to give 1.3 international unit in a day that means i have to give 1.32 ml of the insulin in a day is that fine 1.32 international unit is equal to 1.32 in ml per um, ml of insulin as 1 ml is equal to 1 international unit so now you can easily write the rate the rate will be whatever ml that is there that is 132 1.32 divided by the 24 hours you will get the rate that will be 0 0.05 ml per hour so this is very basic very easy conceptual way of remembering insulin infusion there are two other ways of doing it i can explain you that also how do we make single strength insulin and how do we make a double strength insulin this is very basic that i have tried to explain that it you, you don't have to mug up any formula if you know the concept you can come up with the exact rate that the uh, baby is needed uh, insulin is that is needed so the special instruction what instruction that you will give to the sisters you know in insulin cases of insulin priming of the tubing is very important please answer this in exams always priming of the tubings before starting insulin infusions what does it mean 
it simply means when the you start with the infusion uh, the insulin tends to stick to the tubings okay so even if you are giving insulin the sugar will not come down because whatever dosing you have given is sticking to the ins- uh, the tubing it's not going to the baby so we what we do about uh, twice the amount of the volume in the tubing uh, we just uh, start and we wait for around uh, 15 to 20 minutes so that the priming of the tubing can happen and only then after around 20 minutes we st- we connect the uh, tubings to the baby so the insulin that we want to give to the baby does not stick to the walls and the sugar can effectively come down so that's all for this video i'll be sharing further videos on how to make single strength and double strength insulin thank you so much